Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Ms. Sylvia Montoya, who is the director of the UNESCO Institute for Statistics. Ms. Montoya, welcome to the studio. Oh, thank you so much. I am happy to be here. Thank you. Now, we're here at the WTIS 2018, the World Telecommunication and ICT Indicator Symposium, and it's all about uh, numbers and statistics and skills is something that I know that you're, you're particularly interested in, obviously. I wanted to ask you, why is the issue of skills so pertinent to the development of the ICT sector, in your opinion? Uh, this is a actually critical. A skill is a, what it makes a possible the usage of the different technologies and, and apply in a, in, a, in a meaningful way to the different aspects of life. I, our areas of concern are obviously education, basically coming from UNESCO, but it's also how you use for the teaching, for the learning, to integrate yourself in, in the citizenship, to express your voice as a, as a, as a citizen, uh, to take care of your health, to read, and, and also to, to work. Because at the end of the day, you have to work, you have to participate in, in society, and you have to integrate technology in every single aspect of life. How you could do that if you don't have the set of uh, skills that are needed? What skills would you say are a must-have in order to use ICTs effectively? I think that in general, beyond the ones that are basic in this moment, we actually turning on and off a computer or a cell phone or a mobile is are, are, are off the table that are needed, definitely. But there are issues that are necessarily, definitely, to process information. We have a lot of information going on. We have to actually to get hold of this information, to make a meaning of that information, and to convert this information into valuable data for ourselves and to try to use in our life. And I think that this is the most challenging part, that is uh, using all this, this set of, of uh, information and tools that are there and use and apply, apply, apply them to our life. Obviously, you're involved in a statistics on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, are the statistics looking good? Are people getting are more and more people getting connected? I mean, more and more people are getting connected, but unfortunately, we have many people still outside of, of this possibility of having access to the Internet having ac access to mobile. The recent report of ITU is very good in providing some key numbers to that. And this is a part of the access. That is a first gap that is needed to address to have everybody the possibility of access. The second one is to use a meaningful way that are related to the skills. And the information also collected by ITU, and is an indicator we share in the, the custodianship in the reporting, we still see that 50% of the population that has been actually assessed have the set of basic skills, and these diminish when you get to actually to write a program or to, match, uh, to do a much more meaningful way that is actually a minimum set of skills in many jobs. In many jobs, if you don't actually manage the computer in a meaningful way, you can move files, you can actually uh, cut and paste or do this set of skills, you cannot have the possibility to do your job. Uh, and if though these ones are still a low percentage of the population, th we, ha we are into trouble. So what more can governments and uh, relevant stakeholders do to promote the acquisition of relevant digital skills? I think that in the first case are information. I don't think that there is enough information about what are the set of uh, skills that we need to have. And uh, I think that when people get aware of that uh, set of uh, skills that we need to have, and that for certain profession, if you don't have those, you don't have any possibility, this is a wake-up call. The second one is you have to put into place ways of actually having access to technology, both computer and, 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 and mobile phones that are part of the daily life now with a lot of possibilities for learning and for work. The, there is a need to have this in a cheaper way that are actually uh, affordable for the population. The third one, obviously, is related to training. We have to give everybody the possibility, regardless of age, of having access to a reasonable training to at least acquire a minimum set of uh, skills. And finally, what outcome would you like to see come out from this symposium in terms of ICT skills for the future? I think that many of the conversations we have heard in the, during these two days so far are really very relevant. I would like to see a kind of an a statement or a kind of a conclusion that sets clearly this set of message to the whole society about what e everybody of us could do in our responsibilities of a scope of action and what are the minimum set of uh, skills we need to have and clearly identify the, the, the issue of the gaps. So I think that a, a strong outcome a message from this, uh, uh, this uh, workshop are going to be very useful for everybody. 
Well, thank you for joining us in the studio today, and we hopefully will catch up with you again at some stage in the future. Okay, thank you so much, and thank you so much for, for this, and congratulations for, uh, to ITU for the quality of this, uh, these days. Thank you. Thank you.